How's it going guys? Kyle on Dirt Bike Channel here today. Just uh, jumping on the road here. I've got two bikes in the back of the truck. I've got the Sherco 300 SEFR. It's a three, uh, 300 four stroke. And I've also got the uh, KTM 300 XC. They're both um, 2017 editions. And gonna go ride these things today. So I'm headed out to the desert. And the reason I am is because it is uh, I hesitate to tell you what day it is in case it takes me forever to get this video out. Uh, it's April 1st, 2017, and I've got still a ton of snow up in the mountains, so I can't do like any of the Alpine uh, single track. Um, and that's that's essentially what the 300 SEFR, the Sherco, is actually designed uh, for more of the you know single track enduro wood style riding. So I'm going to go out to the desert today and and get into some. Uh, single track stuff where it's it's woods ish. I mean it, there are juniper trees and stuff like that um, But uh, I'm gonna specifically I'm gonna be looking to see if these two bikes uh, How they feel as far as weight difference because I know that the 300 two stroke has a lot more power than the 300 four stroke um, it, It's got it's gonna have more low-end grunt all that stuff, but what I'm specifically interested in in determining is how much different they feel as far as weight. I know that the Sherco, according to my shipping scale, is exactly 25 pounds heavier than both my 300 XC and my uh, 250 XC. When you take all the when you take all the aftermarket stuff off and you just have them full of gas, uh, that the Sherco, uh, with the extra things that it has on it, a heavy battery, uh, some additional things, it's it's just heavier. It's 25 pounds heavier. So I want to see if you can actually feel that out on the trail. Um, initially, in the, in the uh, rides that I've done with the Sherco, it feels actually very light. It doesn't feel like a heavy bike, and so that's been uh, really surprising, and I'm really uh, happy with that, you know. And the Sherco, so far, I've been, you know, impressed with it. The, my only complaint is just that, uh, well, I mean, a complaint that I have off the top of my head is it feels a little bit twitchy at speed, and that might be because it's got a little bit shorter wheelbase. Um, feels like it, it could dance out from under you when you're going blasting down a, a, a you know a rough dirt road or something with ruts and stuff like that but if you're just in in the single track with the roots and the rocks and stuff it's actually been really good I'll tell you what I learned today. This Sherco here, this thing is no joke, dude. Seriously, this thing was awesome in the woods. When it got tight and it got twisty and turny, this thing was easier to turn than the 2017 KTM 300 XC. It just was. With its little bit shorter wheelbase, you just are able to carve around things and the steering on this bike just feels super light. Now, I have adjusted both of them so neither one of these have steering dampeners on them and I've adjusted my the the tension on my on my triple on my uh, head bearing here, you know, to get my to get my handlebars basically so that they're not too floppy but they're not, you know, not too stiff and I adjusted them the same and the Sherco feels lighter. The geometry of that bike and the way that everything is put together, that that steering feels lighter. Having the lighter steering is a good thing when you when you need to turn quick and you're in the woods like that. It can also be a bad thing when the speeds pick up a little bit. As soon as the speeds picked up, I was much more comfortable on the KTM. But in the in the tight woods and in the tight turny sections, I think I had a little bit of an advantage here on the Sherco. Now part of that also is because of the way that the power is delivered. There definitely isn't as much power on this 300 four stroke as there is on this 300 two stroke. The 300 two stroke was like, tear your arms off compared to the 300 four stroke. But the four stroke gives a very linear, predictable power. Now, for me, it isn't ex as exciting. This one made me smile more once I got out into the stuff, out into a little bit more open stuff. But this bike, this thing is no joke. This Sherco is the real deal. And if you are a woods rider, 
and you're not doing a lot of a lot of open open terrain this thing is pretty interesting i'm pretty interested to test the two stroke version of this maybe i'll get to that later in the year but uh i was i was kind of on the fence on which bike you know how much i liked this just riding around my house and stuff and then riding it back to back with this one i'm telling you this thing has some real real good virtues I mean, it, for, for me, if I'm going to say which one do I choose, you know, if it's going to be my primary bike, I'm going to choose the two-stroke. This one, this one is, just speaks to my soul more. But if I'm just a woods rider and I want a four-stroke and I don't want a KTM, that thing is, uh, like I said, it's no joke. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there, so click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site, and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month, and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.